Welcome to Django Code Review number two. What we do in this series is review live and real code and offer some suggestions. And we wanna see your code. So to do this, you are gonna be a member or join and subscribe to joincfe.com slash YouTube. That will actually take you to our YouTube channel here. Make sure you are a subscriber and leave a comment on one of the Django Code Review videos. Those will definitely be on our channel by the time you're watching this. So make sure you click on one and just add it. Click on the most recent one to be more likely to have the ability for us to review your Django only code at this time. So if it's not Django code, we are just going to skip over you. Now, um, what I'm gonna be doing in this one is updating and creating a better slug function, right? So creating a slug is actually pretty common inside of using Django, right? So you're often gonna have models that need a slug. Now this actual code itself has a way to create a slug already. And it's actually a decent slug generator. It's not perfect though. It's actually fairly flawed in the sense that we are just adding in a query set ID constantly. That's not what we want. Instead, what we want is to use just some random digit instead of just the query set ID. Um, that there's a lot of reasons for this and just generally how this works, it starts to look pretty ugly. Now you could try this out on your own, but what we're gonna do is actually just change this. So on joincfe.com, on our blog, or cur.co, this URL right here, we actually created this unique slug generator for Django. Now this slug or this create slug method wasn't actually added to this project because we created one later. That's pretty much the gist of it. Now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and copy this entire code here, but I'm not gonna put it into models.py. Instead of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna create a new file. So in this file, I'm gonna call it utils.py and we'll hit enter. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this stuff in. So notice that I have slugify and then I need to add in this random string generator. So I need to do that, it's really simple. I can use this URL here, or of course on my blog, I can do a search for it. I'll just go ahead and use that URL and we are just gonna copy this right here. I wanna copy all of that code, of course, and back into this new file here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this random string generator. So I don't have to actually do that import anymore. So I have everything needed for my unique slug generator. As you see here, it does work rather different than the other slug generator. So I'll go ahead and create this utils file. So created to improve code. We'll hit commit new file and it's gonna commit it. So if we look now in our utils file, I see that it is a Python file. Looks like everything is formatted correctly. Of course, in order for this to be 100% accurate, we'd wanna pull it to our local project and then make sure we run it. So if this were your project, then you would do that. Um, but what I have now created is this unique slug generator. So I'm gonna go back into that models.py here. I'm gonna refresh in this and we're gonna go ahead and change how the create slug method works. I'll leave that in there just for reference for you know those of you using try Django 1.9. But I'm gonna go ahead and edit this file. And I'm gonna, instead of using this create slug function, I'm gonna go ahead and write a little comment here saying that this is from Django code review number two, joincfe.com slash YouTube. So that's where you'd watch it, of course. And now we're gonna go ahead and do from dot utils import and the utility function that we created was the unique slug generator. And then we're just gonna add in that unique slug generator instead of the old one. So I'll just comment that out and do instance dot slug equals to unique slug generator of the instance. And that will create a more unique slug. So we'll do Instead of this is, we'll say unique slug generator is from code Django code review number two on joincfe.com, just to make a little bit better. Again, I'll make some comments here off the video. Um, if you wanna see your code reviewed, please let us know in the comments 
on joincv.com slash YouTube for any given Django code review. The ones that are newer will get more preference. Again, we're going to be doing this by random and we haven't done this before. So it's something new that we're trying out. Can't say for sure if we'll do it going forward, but at the very least, hopefully what you got from this is something new. And that is you can see if you compare off the video, the difference between these two, you'll see that this one is actually a little bit better. I don't want to leave just yet because of this right here, instance.title. I do want to bring that um, you know, as an important thing. So, cause in our model, we want to make sure that there is a title field. Otherwise we'll have some error. And if there isn't a title, title field already in the model, I'll just go ahead and add something called property. And then we'll def define title here. And that would be self. And then we would return some sort of title. Uh, of course, in this case, we don't need that. So I'm going to keep that commented out. But that would be if your unique slug generator did not actually already have a title. So that is it for Django code review number two. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.